Uh, uh, hello, everyone. Um, thanks, for, thanks for joining this session of our recent work titled GIS, Enabling Location Privacy Preserving Energy Saving in Multi-Access Edge Computing. Uh, my name is Si Qi, and we are a group of researchers from RMIT, Data61, and Tongji University. So first, let me introduce about some preliminaries. Uh, so uh, about the conception of multi-access edge computing. So uh, in our daily lives, we all use uh, mobile devices to re request some uh, to request some computing resources from the edge and clouds. But have you ever imagined how our computing requests could be answered? The fact is that the service provider would deploy the edge machines to un uh, around us to answer our computing requests every day. Uh, and uh, in, uh, to fulfill our computing requests, uh, for example, the GPU, CPU, and memory. Uh, the, the green dots represent the users in the multi-access edge computing system. For example, the L1, uh, his request uh, is allocated to be served by the edge server S1. However, there are two main concerns in the edge computing community. The first one is the, edge consum uh, the energy consumption. The edge servers are running 24-7 to serve our requests every day, which will lead to a great edge, uh, energy consumption. Sometimes it's not uh, uh, necessary <coughs> at all. And another main concern is that as a user, some, some users may be sensitive about their privacy. For example, they don't want to disclose their location when they access edge services. So uh, regarding the pri privacy uh, issue, here are, some, here are some main protecting methods, like the first one is homomorphic encryption. Uh, it, would, uh, it will encrypt the user's location data and, and protect it in, uh, uh, and, the ro uh, and the data could be processed in an encrypted way without decryption. So in this way, we could uh, achieve towards the zero trust. And another protection uh, method is differential privacy, which will add uh, the DP noise into the into the uh, data. Uh, yeah, for example, uh, the noise is drawn from the Laplace distribution. Uh, and we conduct a demo experiment to show that uh, uh, the the performance of differential privacy and homomorphic encryption and uh, but and the, the result shows that the di differential privacy would be much faster than homomorphic encryption. However, uh, just uh, uh, applying si uh, simply geo obfuscation is not enough since there might be some issues in the multi access edge computing system. For example, as a user, her, uh, his real location is L1, and by applying some geo obfuscation methods, uh, his uploaded location turns to be L1 star. However, uh, in, in the whole system, the edge servers might be a uh, honest and curious uh, adversary. So it might launch some inf inference attack regarding the user's location. For example, from the L1 head to, L, uh, to from the L1 star to L1 height. Uh, in this process, we, we may, this may cause a great distortion between his real location and uh, the inferred location by the servers. So we formulate such a process into an information flow. For example, the user's real location L, by applying some geo obfusc uh, obfuscation methods, his location turns to be L star. And the servers would, based on the user's prior knowledge, to launch some uh, like Bayesian inference attack to gain the user's uh, location L height. So in this way, we we will formulate the distortion between his original locations and the inferred locations. And uh, uh, regarding the privacy, so here's the way to define the user's privacy in the multi-access edge computing system. Uh, we we would like to uh, we would like to define the the distance between the LB and the LB height. Uh, we as as a as a radius, the, so uh, so the shadow area uh, compares to the over, overall 
the coverage error as uh, the user's privacy. And uh, further, we formulate, formulate the problem uh, in a theoretical way. So the first objective is to uh, minimize the obfuscated distribution with the original distribution. And the second phase is that we allocate the user's, uh, the user's uh, computing requests based on, based on the if locations. So uh, the, our, our proposed methods uh, is for, uh, first we confine the user's, lo uh, uh, the, the user's location in a reasonable way. Uh, and we would like to satisfy the user's privacy constraints while, uh, while making the locations that is, more near, that is near to the original one to gain the higher probability. And after that, we will, we will assign each user. We will assign each user with a designated service to serve them. And um, I'm I'm sorry about about the pictures. It might be some be some. Uh, uh, the result shows that um, the result shows that our our methods outperforms uh, the baseline approaches. Um, uh, in multiple cases, for example, the n represents the user's number, while m represents the edge server edge server's number, and the epsilon means the uh, pri the privacy budget of differential privacy. And we also conduct a, a comparison. Uh, we also conduct a ablation study in the in the uh, in the no different uh, no differential privacy uh, scenario. Yeah. So we also compare the uh, the system overhead with our uh, with other baselines. It shows that our uh, <coughs> our proposed methods outperforms others on the system overhead as well. So the conclusion is that we, uh, as far as we know, is the first systematic work to uh, formulate the location privacy preserving edge demand response problem, and we have proposed a probabilistic solution and also a greedy approach to manage the whole. Uh, allocation process, and we've also made public of our code at GitHub. <coughs> so regarding the future works, uh, we will consider more complex uh, scenarios, uh, like like uh, involving the mobile data flow and the, the users' relationships or the resource competitions. Yeah. Um, thanks for your time. And yeah. Any questions?